Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face of my holy grail makeup. I just uploaded my 2018 drugstore favorites. High end's coming soon and a lot of these things in this video will be in that. But anyway, I got a few messages from you guys saying that you'd love to see the products in action. So I figured why not film a holy grail makeup look. Now this look isn't really like my holy grail look I would go for. It's not very often I wear green and yellow eyeshadow together, but the brand of eyeshadow is my absolute favorite. It is so pigmented, like look at this guys. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you are too. So if you guys wanna see me apply a full face of my holy grail makeup, then just keep watching. So today's video is in collaboration with Sigma. We have teamed up to let you guys know that Sigma brushes are now available in Sephora in Australia, which is so exciting. No more having to order it online and waiting for it to be shipped here. I'll have a link in the description box below where you guys can find your nearest Sephora store. You guys know I love Sigma brushes. They have the best quality. They also have a two-year warranty on all of their brushes and brush gadgets. I have literally had some of my brushes for 10 years? Oh my gosh. No, nine years. Pretty sure my cat got to this one, but they are still in perfect condition besides where my cat got to it. Also, all of Sigma brushes are synthetic, so that means that they're vegan and cruelty-free, and their Sigmagic brush shampoo is 100% natural as well. So Sigma makes my holy grail brushes, and now let's put some of my holy grail makeup on my face. I'm gonna start off with primer. There it is. This is the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Coconut Primer. It smells delicious. This is really hydrating. Ooh. I haven't used it in a while, so it's got a chunky bit. It's really hydrating without like making me oily because I do have oily skin and it smells like I'm going to the beach. So I'm just gonna let that absorb into my skin whilst I work on my eyes. So let's zoom you guys in. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Now my Holy Grail Concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape and I'll probably use that later in the video. But you guys have seen that one in action a million times over. <laughs> so I thought I would share with you the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Show you guys how it performs uh, just to prime my eyes. So I'm just going to coat my eyelid in this. And then I'm going to take my Sigma sponge and just blend that out. So as you can see, that concealer has blended out really smoothly. It's got amazing coverage, and I'm just gonna lightly set that with my ColourPop No Filter Powder. I'm gonna use the shade Fair. I'm just taking this on a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and patting that on. For eyeshadow, I thought I could use my Marc Jacobs palettes. I'm trying to steer away from like the brown slash neutral palettes because I feel like a lot of brands have those down pat. But some brands seem to struggle with color. So I'm gonna go for like a greeny golden look today to go with my top. This is the Marc Jacobs Editorial palette. I'm gonna start off by taking that brown shade and using that as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna take that on my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. Now tap off the excess because these colors are really pigmented and just blend that into my crease. Now that our crease is nice and transitioned, uh, we're gonna go in with, let's go in with this matte green. And I'm just gonna take that on my Sigma E25 blending brush, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna blend this into my crease and out of V. This is definitely my favorite blending brush of all time. If you guys wanna know what brushes I would recommend for beginners, I do have a video on it. I did film it, maybe like three years ago now, uh, but it's still pretty much the same. Oh, these eyeshadows just blend out so beautifully. 
I know these eyeshadows are pretty pricey, but they're seriously the best eyeshadows I have ever tried. Except for maybe some of the Natasha Denona uh, eyeshadows, but that's like $300 for a palette. And I don't have that kind of money just lying around to spend on an eyeshadow palette. This was expensive enough for me. Now, just with the same brush, I'm going to dip in to this like really, really, really dark green with gold shimmery bits in it color. Oh, hey, they've got colors on the back. <laughs> The shade's called Everywhere, and I'm just gonna really lightly uh, blend this into my outer V, just for a little more definition. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush. This is just another Sigma E25 brush, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and blended. Now before I go in with my next eyeshadow, uh, I'm gonna grab my Tarte Shape Tape and when I find the brush and the Sigma Lip L05 brush, uh, I'm gonna cut my crease, half cut my crease with this, sorry. And yes, this brush is great for lips, so it's also really great for half cutting your crease when you need that like really precise application of concealer. Okay, let's do this. So I just draw like a really sharp line there and then just blend it out as I get closer to the eyeshadow on my lid. And now I go to the other eye and try and make sure they're even. Okay, my crease is cut and somewhat even. One of my eyelids is a bit droopier than the other. I feel like I got it as close as I can get. Now we're gonna take our next eyeshadow. Ooh, I could do like this silvery shade and be like Slytherin. Mm, but I do wanna use this gold. Let's use the gold. So I'm just gonna take a bit of gold eyeshadow on that lip brush and I'm gonna pat this on the first half-ish of my eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah. So I'm just dragging what's left over on the brush into that green shade to help blend it. Next up, I'm just gonna switch to a Sigma Firm Shader E57 brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that green that we used and just blend it into that gold there. Just so that it blends out more smoothly. Beautiful. Then I'm just gonna grab another firm shader E57 brush and go in with take a memo. I'm just gonna use this to highlight under my brow bone. That's it for our eyeshadow for now. Now moving on to our eyeliner. I'm gonna take my beloved Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper and I'm just gonna line my top lash line. I'm just gonna do a line, not a wing. Feel free to do a wing if you're confident with that. Then for mascara, I'm gonna use the NARS Climax Mascara. This is the only mascara that keeps my eyelashes feeling soft. It's crazy. So I'm just gonna add a coat of this to my top eyelashes. So for falsies today, I would normally wear my Ardell 120 Demis. They're my holy grail lashes, but I'm currently out of them. So I'm gonna try the Ardell Double Up, Double Demi W. Bispies. Let's see how these go. And my lashes are on. I really like them. I think I like them better than the 120 Demis. They're very full, but don't look like over the top. I like them. So now moving on to our base, we're gonna go in with foundation. I am gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It is my absolute favorite foundation on the planet. So I'm just gonna take some on my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. This is really cool because it's got these um, like cutout bits. So it's really easy to get like the smaller areas of your face. So I'm just going to blend this in. Next up, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey, and I'm gonna use this to, ah, a blob just fell out and landed on my leg. I'm gonna use this to hide my dark circles and highlight the center of my face. So I'm just going to apply that under my eye and down the center of my face as well. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that Kabuki brush, the 3D HD Kabuki brush by Sigma, and blend that in. 
Now obviously you want to set that concealer so it doesn't crease so I'm going back in with my Colourpop, a bit of eyelash stuck to it, Colourpop No Filter Sheer Press Powder and Fair and that Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and just pat this on. I don't really have like a holy grail pressed powder. Like I have ones that I really like, like this one, but nothing that's been like, oh my god, I'm never using another powder again, sort of thing. Just gonna apply some down the center of my face as well. And to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the same ColourPop powder in the shade medium dark. Ooh, almost dropped it. <laughs> and the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush and just brush that on, just a light coat. Moving on to a bronzer, I'm gonna take my beloved Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. I'm gonna use mostly the dark shade, as you can see, I'm nearly out of this. This just adds such a beautiful bronze sheen to your face. Mm. And I'm gonna use this to bronze up my face. Like, look at that. Mmm, so beautiful. So I'm just going around the perimeter of my face. Just add some color back. And I'm also going to contour. Oh, I forgot my brush. Hold on a sec. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to take the Sigma Small Contour F05 brush and my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Excuse me. I just ate a banana. Now I have banana burps. And I'm just going to use this to hollow out my cheekbones a bit. Moving on to blush, I'm going to take the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow Duo. And I'm just going to use the same Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush that we used to bronze up our face. I'm just going to dip into this blush a little and apply this to my cheeks. Oh, this is so beautiful. Such a natural looking blush and it's got such a beautiful sheen to it as well. Then for highlighter, I'm going to use the highlighter that's in the duo with a Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. And I'm going to highlight my face with this. This is great for more of a natural looking highlight. I know I'm just like piling it on right now. That way it looks better on camera. Uh, but yeah, it's great for a natural looking highlight. If you want like a super blinding highlight, I'd recommend to get the Natasha Denona Super Glow. I'm gonna put this down the center of my face as well. Shall we go back to our eyes? I think so. Hello, let me lower my chair. Okay, so back to our eyes. Gonna take our Marc Jacobs palette. Um, which brush do I want? I'm gonna take the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and that brown transition shade we used. Just gonna use it to smoke out my lower lash line and try not to get it in my eye. Then just with the same brush, I'm gonna take a teeny, teeny tiny bit of this really, really dark greeny black color. And just apply that to the very outer corner of my lower lash line and join it up with our top eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna switch to a clean Sigma pencil F30 brush. And I'm gonna take this like dual chrome shimmer shade here. I'm gonna apply this right on the inner corner of my eye. Now I do want to put an eyeliner on my waterline. I was going to use the Marc Jacobs Whirlpool liner, but it's more of like a tealy blue shade. I feel like I don't have like a forest green shade in the Marc Jacobs highlighter, which would have gone really well with this look. So instead, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs All That Glitters highlighter and use this to line my waterline. These go on so easily to the waterline and they last for ages as well. And to finish our eyes, we just want to add some mascara to our lower lashes. Now moving on to brows, I think I'm going to use my Colourpop brow pencil. I do also love the Benefit ones, but I feel like pretty much everything in this video has been high end. So let's throw a few affordable pieces in there as well. Love how precise the tip is. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Then to set my brows, I'm going to use the Colourpop Brow Boss Gel. I also love the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter if you're after something high end. But this does an amazing job too. This does go on like kind of white, but it dries clear, like you can't see it. So I'm just going to brush this through my eyebrows. 
Now all that's left to do is our lips, right? So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. This is the shade Uptight. These just glide on, like it says. They're so creamy and pigmented and I love them. And finally for lipstick, I'm going to use the MAC Liptensity Lipstick in the shade Toast and Butter. These are so creamy and pigmented. Oh my gosh, like, you know how sometimes with darker lipsticks you have to go over them a few times? Nope, not entirely sure if brown goes with this look, but hey, it's what we're using. And so here we have the finished look using my holiest of holy grail products. I love everything that I used. I hope you guys got some new like recommendations. Let me know uh, what your holy grail can't live without products are. It's probably about time I did a new Sephora order. So yeah, let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you guys wanna see more videos from me. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Is there lipstick on my teeth? There's not. Ooh. <laughs> Bye guys.